So you want to purchase a newer car or even a brand new car but you don't know too much about inline 3 engines. Watch this video to find out more. Right now, in 2018, there are more and more cars which have inline 3 engines. 0.9, 1 liter, 1.2 liter, even 1.5 liter inline 3 engines. And the reason is a simple one. Manufacturers are forced by different laws and by the government to reduce engines in order to reduce emissions, pollution and fuel consumption. And right now, we have lots of smaller engines, a lot of downsized engines, even if they are not inline 3 ones, which have a lot more power than it, than they used to have a few years ago. Now, from what I've seen, inline 3 engines are more, more popular in Europe than in other parts of the world, but this is not a rule. I think you have seen plenty of BMW i8s in the United States, which has a 1.5 inline 3 engine, but that's a completely different car. And now I would like to talk about the pros and cons of having an inline 3 engine on your vehicle. And let's start with the pros. First off, it's super lightweight and compact compared to other engines, even to an inline 4. Second, it's cheaper to manufacture and thus we have a cheaper vehicle as a whole. So at the end, the customer pays a smaller price compared to a similar car having a different kind of engine, even an inline 4. Third, the coolant and the oil heat up pretty fast, a lot faster than it would normally would in an inline 4 where you have more oil, more coolant and especially if it's a diesel engine. So the engine will reach a lot faster the optimum operating temperature for both coolant and the oil. And it's a pleasure to drive a small engine, an inline 3 engine around town, especially when it's extremely cold outside during winter. Having fewer cylinders means that we have less moving parts, less friction, and thus we have a lower fuel consumption and an overall better efficiency of the engine if it's driven in normal conditions. If you will push it to its limit, it will consume like an inline 4 or even more than an inline 4. Maintenance will also be cheaper. You have uh, less spark plugs, less uh, material, less oil, less coolant. Everything is downsized, including maintenance. Maintenance will be a lot cheaper. In a 1.0 liter inline 3, you expect to have around from 2.7 to 3.5 liters of oil and in a V10, for example, you have 10 to 12 liters of oil. So for every oil change that you will have, you will have to pay less. And as a whole, maintenance is cheaper. And also as a pro, we should take into consideration fuel consumption. If you drive the car normally in normal condition, day to day from A to B, you will have a smaller fuel consumption compared to a bigger engine having more than three cylinders. And now let's talk about the cons. Uh, having an odd number of cylinders will result in a huge imbalance of the engine and we will need to include some shafts and links to stabilize the engine in order to not feel all those vibrations in the cabin. But anyways, you will still feel the vibrations and noise and the imbalance. It's pretty unpleasant to drive every day, especially if it's a diesel engine. And it's noisy. Power delivery is not smooth at all and that's because the engine has only 3 strokes, 3 cylinders and not 4 or 6 or 5 or 10 and power delivery will be in not really shocks but it won't be smooth at all. You also can't have too much power out of a inline 3 engine and that's because it simply can't. There are only 3 cylinders which produce power. Uh, the most powerful engine that I know is used on the BMW i3 which has a 1.5 turbocharged gasoline engine with twin scroll technology which has 231 horsepower. But again, that's a completely different car. Most engines, most inline 3 engines have anywhere from 80 horsepower to around 140 horsepower and 140 horsepower out of a 1.2 inline 3 is a lot. It's a lot than that engine can handle so having more more than that power could result in destroying the engine or in engine failure if we take into consideration just one more cylinder if we have an inline four we can have production cars such as the mercedes a45 amg which has 400 horsepower if you want more than just to go from a to b if you're a car enthusiast don't buy an inline three engine 
and if we discuss about reliability, I don't have too much to say, it, it isn't that bad or that good if you do maintenance on time and if you drive the car normally as it was supposed to, expect to have a reliable car. It will take you anywhere from 200 to 300,000 kilometers, no problem. And as a personal point of view, for me, an inline 3 engine, if I would ever buy one. Are you serious? <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you haven't already for more car videos and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,